With a ladybird deed, upon the death of the owner, when it's transferred to the beneficiary, if they sell the property, do they pay capital gains? This is asking if the person who inherits the property through a ladybird deed, they're called the remainderman on the deed, but it's basically a beneficiary, if that individual or individuals are going to have to pay capital gains tax if they turn around and sell the property. So a couple things I wanna hit on first before I answer the question. One, capital gains tax is tax that is paid on a profit of certain sales, like real property or equity. Or equity. So these are called capital assets, and when you sell a capital asset, if you, make a prop, if you make a profit from it, then you may need to pay or you will need to pay capital gains tax. Since real property is a capital asset, when you sell it, it needs to be determined if there's any capital gains tax involved. Now, how we determine tax is through something we call basis or tax basis. Probably the simplest way to explain this is it's the monetary value that's used to determine if you have a profit or a loss on something when you sell it. So an easy example would be, I buy a home, not a primary residence, let's just say this is a home for investment purposes. I buy a home and I buy it and it costs $500,000 when I buy it and I rent it out for a few years and then I decide I want to sell it. Well, when I sell it, the value, the fair market value of this investment property that I bought has increased to 600,000. So the basis, the basis that I would use to determine if me selling it is gonna create a profit or a loss is the actual amount that I paid for the property, the 500,000. Since I'm now turning around and selling it for a fair market value of 600,000, there's $100,000 of gain that can be taxable. And that would be your capital gains tax on that 100,000 difference because it has appreciated in value. Now the nice thing about ladybird deeds is the person who inherits the property, again, the remainderman, doesn't have to use the original owner's tax basis or the purchase price of the home when they originally bought it as their basis to determine whether there's a gain or a loss. They actually receive what's called a step up in basis. Now how this works is when you inherit property through a ladybird deed, your basis in the property is actually the fair market value at the time of the inheritance or at the time when the owner died. So when the owner dies, the property has a certain fair market value on that date or on that time. And that is actually going to be the beneficiary or the remainderman's basis in the property which is really nice for capital gains because let's say when the person who owned the property dies, the property is worth $600,000. When you inherit it, you get to use 600,000 as your basis to determine taxes rather than whatever the number was, the purchase, the original purchase price number of when the person bought it, which could have been much lower. If it were many, many years ago, it could have been 300,000, right? Because property has really appreciated. But since you get to use that step up in basis, the fair market value at the time of death, if you turn around and sell the property within say six months to a year of inheriting it, there's little likelihood that you're gonna pay capital gains tax because you get to use this step up in basis, which is the fair market value at the time of death, and if you sell it within six months to a year, it's probably not going to really appreciate much, if at all, which means you're not going to have to pay capital gains tax. Now, if you keep the property for many years because you wanna use it as a rental or an investment, of course, there could be some appreciation there and then you might end up paying capital gains tax down the road. But if the plan is to just turn around and sell it right away, because you get that step up in basis, you most likely will not have to pay any or very little capital gains tax. So 
I hope this answers the question. If you have any other questions about Lady Bird Deeds, estate planning, asset protection, elder law, or probate, and you're in Florida, please don't hesitate to contact our office. We're at Cause Law Office, the non-stuffy attorneys, and the link is in my bio.